Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 and a half Salem FSX. This is the 178 BHSK X model, the Platinum Edition fiberglass version. They also make a metal sided version, it's a little less expensive, but this is one of the most popular small bunkhouse trailers on the market right now for a family, really affordable. We're gonna take a minute, walk you through the inside of the RV and the outside of the RV, then we'll close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right guys, we're now up inside this brand new Salem 178 here. And as you can see, if you've looked at the old versions, they have a whole new look in here now. So we have completely different color cabinetry. We have a bigger refrigerator. We have new floor coloring. Um, so different material as far as the dinette cushions, the window blinds. So they've changed up quite a bit of the actual look of the RV. The basic floor plan and everything did stay the same but colorations all have changed. So we're gonna start here in the kitchen area here. Down below here, you do have a propane furnace, and that is an auto ignition lighting furnace, and the thermostat for it is over there on the bathroom wall. There's a little bit of storage below the sink area, along with a full extending drawer there as well. Ball bearing roller guides. Now this is new. This is a new graystone um, stove top here. And basically this just flips back. But it is a two burner kind of recessed stove top with your controls and stuff here. And the little knobs do light up blue. So that changed up as well. You have the high rise faucet there. There's an electric outlet and USB charger ports over there to the right of the window. Now that window does open as well. Traditional microwave, that's a Furion microwave there. And then you have some storage space to the right there. Nice little cabinet. On the side of the cabinet here, you have your awning in and out button, your slide out in and out button, light switch for in here, light switch for outside awning light, water heater gas button, and your water pump button. Battery meter, fresh water, black water, and gray water tank meters. So all located right here. It's kind of up high, a little bit out of the way from smaller children to play with buttons. Now, another new feature is gonna be the refrigerator. This is the Everchill 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. So they went to a larger refrigerator. This again is 12 volt. So if you do the portable solar panel, charging up your battery kind of thing, this thing will boondock for quite a bit of time. Um, if you're going to a campground and you plug in, then this thing will obviously run off of the 12 volt and electric system. But if you're driving down the road, it'll run off the battery for quite a while. Over here, you have your little bunk area. So you do have a couple windows up here, USB charger ports up here. Both those windows open. Down below, you have one window that does open back there and also USB charger ports over here. And down below that, you have a storage area here. Back up here a little bit, we are going into the bathroom area here. We'll pop up some pictures of this so it's a little easier to see. But there is a little vent fan above the shower area there. You have a medicine cabinet area here. Panning on down, you got your electric outlet, your sink, and some storage down below. Shower area, it's a decent sized shower area with a curtain bar across there. But overall, for a small RV, it's got an okay size bathroom. Now, over here above the thermostat is also TV hookups. So there's a backer in the wall right here where you could mount your small flat screen TV. Electric outlet over there on the wall as well. A 
decent amount of floor space in here. And again, it's all vinyl floor, so it's gonna be nice and easy to sweep and clean up. Storage underneath the U-shaped dinette section there. And basically those little doors open up so you can store some stuff in them. Now this area here will actually go down and make into a bed if you need it to. So you could sleep an extra one or two people here. Good size window on the side of the slide there and that does actually open about 50%. Across the front, you have the 60 by 74 short queen, and that will actually flip up into a small bed as well. So I'm going to set the camera down here. I just want to kind of show you how that works. It's really pretty easy to do. Um, basically, all this does, this just folds, kind of tucks back in there, and there's a little latch over here easier to do when the plastic's not in the way and that latch just kind of locks into place there and then you've got little flip up cushion backers and basically gives you a little couch area there you have overhead cabinet across that section and then you have a hanging closet over there on the right along with a little USB charger and electric outlet as well Fire extinguisher over there, too. But pretty neat little setup. Again, small, lightweight, compact, easy to get in and out of old state parks and a lot of places like that. Easy to tow with small SUVs. So we are going to head to the outside, guys. I want to show you around the outside of the RV, too. And then we'll come back in and close this thing up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this Salem FSX here. Again, the 178 BHSKX model. We're going to start here in the front, and then we're going to work our way around, and then we'll close her all up from the inside here. So starting up front here, you have an aluminum exterior front. It is a nice rolled back aluminum metal. Now this is a little bit thicker of an aluminum compared to the aluminum siding that is traditionally found on the side of campers. Um, when they put it on the front, they go to a thicker gauge metal. Across the uh, front section there is a lower diamond plate metal. You have a single 20 pound propane tank that comes standard on the uh, camper. And basically that is a gas grill tank. So it's real quick and easy to exchange those out at just about any Quickie Mart gas station kind of thing. Um, behind that is room for a battery, which will come with one deep cycle interstate battery from Couches RV Nation if you purchase from them. It does not come with any from the RV manufacturer, so wherever you're buying from, if it's not Couches, make sure that you do get a battery. On the front section here, you have a manual tongue jack with a little foot pad, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, there is a safety chain holder hook on there, so you can put your safety chains on there. And then you also have your power cord hook up there as well. On around to the side over here, you have a hook up right there for a portable solar panel if you wanted to add a portable solar panel. The unit comes standard with a power awning, which does have the LED light strip built in. You have adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. Now again, this is the X model, the Platinum Edition, so it has fiberglass side and rear. Again, you're always going to have the aluminum front, but when you upgrade to the Platinum Edition with the X on the end of the model number, that is the fiberglass exterior. And it is a gray fiberglass. The overall graphics package changed a little bit in coloration from uh, model change but not anything real drastic you have a double entrance step here to get you in and out of the RV traditional RV entry door large folding handle there just to kind of help you get in and out as well your model number for the camper will also be located next to that entry door so if you're out walking the lot at a dealer's place 
look for that number to identify the camper you like. That way you can let your salesperson know. Here on the side, you're going to have your six gallon gas water heater. And the drain plug is right there in the lower middle section. It's a DSI gas water heater, so you flip a button and it lights all by itself. Your fresh water tank fill is right here and your furnace exhaust is also right here. Now down below, you can kind of see the little white thing sticking out down there. That is the drain for the fresh water tank. Now the unit is single axle and it does have electric brakes. There is an electric outlet here on the outside so you can plug some stuff in. And then it comes with this little outdoor kitchen area here. So you've got a little mini fridge, you have a little cook griddle which slides in and out, and your gas hookup down below. And you can also see the four stabilizer jacks. So they are the heavier duty scissor jack system. They come down, touch the ground, stabilize things. On around to the rear of the camper here, you have your spare tire mounted on the bumper. Traditional four inch square tube bumper, which is where most people store a dump hose. Outside utility shower here on the rear of the RV, so you have hot and cold water back here too. Up top there, it is pre-wired for an observation or backup camera. Would definitely recommend the observation camera so you can use that while driving down the road. Definitely comes in handy to kind of see what's going on behind you. Now on the back corner here, you have your cable and satellite inlet. So if you go to a campground that has cable TV feature or satellite type of feature, you can plug right into there. Your power cord is right here. And again, that is a detachable power cord. You have your gray and black tank dump right here as well. Up above the power cord there, you have city water and black tank flush. Slide out is an electric slide, so you push a button, it goes in and out. They're currently using the in-wall slide uh, by Lippert. And again, it can manually be done in case of an electronic failure in an emergency situation, but it's a 12 volt powered motor system that pulls the slide in and out. Now this one, um, well, the model in general is prepped for a slide out awning topper. So if you wanted to put a slide out awning topper on it, it has little brackets up in the corners of the slide room. You can kind of see up here. So those will come standard from the factory. Now, if you want the slide topper, I'm going to show you this one right back here. This is another one. And this customer chose to do the slide topper. So that is kind of what it looks like. It goes right onto those existing brackets there and rolls in and out, covering the top of the slide out when you open and close it. And basically what that does, that helps keep the leaves, twigs, debris, helps shed away some rainwater and stuff like that, but just kind of protects the top of the slide out a little bit. So that is an available feature if that does interest you guys. Talk with your salesperson about that as well. Now you do have a decent sized storage compartment area here. Jack handle right there. And on the corner down here is going to be your weight stickers. And basically you're gonna have your gross vehicle weight here pop up first, which has your production date, VIN number, axle size, uh, some basic information on there. Then the next sticker is gonna be the dry weight sticker, which is basically the weight the camper weighed when it rolled off the assembly line. Next up is gonna be your carrying capacity sticker which tells you how much weight you can load into the RV before you overload it past the gross vehicle weight. Next is your tire sticker, which tells you your tire size and proper tire pressure. Really important to check your tire pressure before every trip. 
You don't want low tires because then they're not holding the proper amount of weight. So that is really important to definitely keep an eye on. All right, guys, we're gonna go inside, close it up. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're now back up inside this Salem 178 model here. Um, we're gonna close up the slide, and again, slide out button up here. So you are going to basically just push the inside of the button, slide out comes straight in and straight out. So real simple to use. Again, 12 volt motor system. This is by Lippert. It's called the Inwall Slide. LCI1.com is their website and they have all kinds of information about RV products on there. While we're waiting on that to finish coming in, you can see you have a 13.5 BTU air conditioner up there. Also have a little vent fan up there as well. Okay, a slide out came all the way in now. You can see you can still get right on through the RV. Obviously it's a little tight because the slide out's in your way but you can come right on in, scoot on back here, get to your fridge, get to your bathroom area, and get to the kids room, all that type of stuff is technically functional, even though the slide out is closed. Spin it on around here. This is nice because if you do stop at a grocery store, um, you know, Walmart, wherever you're stopping at to grab things to go camping, you can still come up in here, load things into your RV, and not have to open this slide. Another advantage to the way this is laid out for a small RV, say the slide out broke. God forbid that ever happens, but if it did happen, you can still use your RV with the slide out in here. So... Obviously, it's tight, wouldn't be real convenient, but you're not ruining your whole weekend if that were to happen. So, still usable. Now, when you go back out, you hit the button, slide out again, it's going to go straight on out. Again, guys, be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers and are definitely going to save you guys a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. And this is also coming with the camper now. You have a little Bluetooth speaker system there that will come with it. That is included as a standard from the RV manufacturer. Slide out went all the way back out. Good to go. Thanks again, guys, for checking out my video. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and learn. And if there's uh, anything they can do to help you, please give these sales guys a call at Couches RV Nation. Thanks, guys.